training a ton of Marines out of his uh, out of his new barracks, and a Viking as well. And, uh, that observer is going to be able to see no more. Sorry. have alert people that just because I'm doing this kind of spontaneously it's actually really late at night here and I probably shouldn't be recording really late at night I'll just put that down too I always like the way the Colossi walks they always looked really cool to me but I think actually like if you were to look well, try and build something like this I don't think physics would deem it plausible like, I'm pretty sure if you actually built something like this in real life, it would kind of have a terrible, you know, uh, system of valves and just kind of fall over before, you know, could even get off the ground kind of deal. Because, I mean, just like, look at how thin those legs are. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not sure how the Colossi managed to stay upright. Like, if they stepped on a rock or something at the wrong angle, they would just capsize over and they couldn't get back up again. Oh well. Who says this game has to be realistic? So, now Duke is going to try and press in again, but um, now Card has got a, a siege tank wall set up. Ready to go. Also, on the other hand, we can see that he's got a bunch of Vikings out. Um, you know, potential for harassment there. Duke's got a photo and cannon, though, so maybe not going to be able to do a whole ton of damage. So, although he does land and out of the range of that photo and cannon gonna go two stalkers versus three uh, Vikings. Not gonna end so well for the stalkers, but he's gonna warp in a couple more. And then they're gonna be able to turn the turn the tide here. So I always kinda like when I play over these replays, I like to click on you know the different people to see what they have hotkeyed. So, you know, just to see how many different areas they can be focusing in at once. Um, Duke's got this. Only his next he's got a Nexus and a probe hotkeyed. Oh, and uh, his his attack force. Card has all his production building buildings and both his um, orbital command centers hotkeyed as well. When I play as the Zerg, I hotkey all my all the hatcheries I have, and then the Queen I have at every hatchery, and then whatever attack force I have, you know, going out on the field so I can jump back and forth between them as fast as I can, and then, you know, j jump back to a hatchery, jump to a Queen, and have it spawn larvae in a hatchery, and then jump back to uh, the force I'm commanding. kind of stuff is really important to uh, you know, it, to improve your game. I was going to say to step your game up, but that really reminds me of those awful PSP commercials they have now. I don't know. Those PSP commercials were always pretty bad. Do you remember like when it first came out and they had like one that um, it had like cartoon squirrels or something like that? Or... or, or the worst ones were when the PS3 first came out, and the commercials made no sense. Like, I always remember one that, um, had like a, it was like a, a PS3 rising up out of some kind of amorphous white background, and then, like, a reflection inside the PS3, there was like a baby crying or something, I guess. I'm like, what the hell am I watching? It seems like something I'd see in, like, Clockwork Orange or something. 
anyway, back to the game. <laughs> we can see that card just took off in terms of uh, production here. Like, he's just uh, sitting back and, and building uh, forces, which is kind of his style. He doesn't... He, he'll harass occasionally, but usually he just kind of sits back until he's got this huge force and, and then attacks. And his harassment was able to, to bring Duke or to slow Duke down enough to the point where he's able to, uh, you know, surpass him quite handily with the, the troops he's got now. You know, this is a pretty, pretty fearsome force. You know, Marines and Marauders backed up by siege tanks and battle cruisers. That's a, that's a tough nut to crack. Duke's got a force of, he's got a couple Colossi, and some Stalkers, and some Zealots. You know. Pretty standard Protoss force. He's also got a couple Phoenixes, uh, ready to do whatever, you know, they might want to do. Finding out those are pretty good counters to siege tanks. They can, you know, just lift them up and, and stop them from sieging, so long as, you know, you can keep the Marines away from them, which, probably easier said than done. So, of course, we can see the confrontation is, is a, you know, right. And, you know, those Colossi are going to do everything that they can, and they're going to do a number to cards, front lines, but there's just too many. He's just got too many forces, and uh, despite heavy losses, he's going to push on and push forward. And, uh, you know, Duke's got nothing at this point. And he admits defeat, you know, says GG. So, uh, you know, all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this match. This has been Joseph Feast Run of Asylum signing off for now. And, you know, I hope you join me next time when I got another um, good match in store for you guys. As always, if you've got a replay you want to send to me, um, best way to do that, people kind of get confused, is you take your replay. You take that file and you upload it to an upload site of your choice, you know, Mega Upload or Rapid Share or Mediafire, whatever else, and just send me that link in a YouTube message. You can also email it to me. Wouldn't recommend it though, because I get hundreds of emails a day and it will more than likely get lost. I get less YouTube messages a day. I still get a ton, but uh, your replay is more than likely to get through if you send me a YouTube message. Anyway, that being said, I'm going to sign off, and you guys take care.